Good day and welcome to a special edition of Ghost Recon Wildlands. Today we are looking at a Task Force Challenge. Task Force Challenge is extreme difficulty run over a boss. How are we going to do that? Well, it's pretty simple. Don't look at this. This I have to figure out. I know how to do it. I just need another body, another person to help me out with it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go over this. Then I'll explain why this is such a pain in the butt. And we'll go from there. Um, so... Alright, now we got El Yeo. And we're gonna take him. And we're gonna put him in a position of vulnerability. I'm sorry, El Yeo. I keep going back to you for uh, for cheeses, but uh, it says to run over a boss, so let's run over a boss. We'll put him over at the entrance here. Right here. And let's hope that he stays there. Yep, yeah, he's staying there. Get a good run up. And that is the task force ch challenge complete right here. <laughs> it's terrible. I get it. But that is it. Um, now, I'm going to show you a video uh, here. And uh, I'll just overlay it here. So this is why the solo challenge for Snafu is all F you. Um, to say the least that you have to do it with a sniper rifle and you're given a timer to get all the way over to Barvechos. Unfortunately that also means that when you are interrogating the guy it fails the challenge for you because you've struck him on the head. And so there's no decent way for you to do this without having to do it in Bravo. Uh, back over at the uh, the waypoint, so over in Inca Camina Bravo, and then you have to travel via helicopter or fast travel way up to Barvechos again. So it it just seems like there's only one way to do it, and I think it's cooperatively. So I'm going to grab one of my friends, and if I can do that in time, I will upload a video for you. Um, but the idea is you have the truck put in position is seen here. Once that truck is in position, then you get one guy to interrogate, redeploy, and then he can come back. Whoever interrogates needs to redeploy and read back. If as long as one person stays with the truck, it won't despawn, and then you won't have to do that whole thing all over again. And then you can just clear out, stay in the vicinity of... A, you just have to... Um, watch for helicopters that, that might pose a, a threat above, but essentially uh, Kozak is going to be fine on his own. So long story short, this cheese is coming, hopefully I can get somebody to help me with it, and uh, thank you uh, for, for deal, uh, <laughs> letting me deal with that. So um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching, and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Hopefully I can get the next video out for you. Cheers.